the Sputnik V vaccine. There are several vaccines that have been approved in recent months, including the RNA vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna viral vector vaccines, and within the viral vector vaccine comes the Sputnik V vaccine, which I will describe in greater detail. This vaccine is still to be approved by the WHO or a global regulator, but several countries have gone ahead and approved it or authorized it for emergency use. Novavax vaccine is another vaccine that comes, would be authorized shortly. The Gamala vaccine or the Sputnik V vaccine was produced and made by the Gamalaya National Research Center of Epidemiology and Microbiology in Russia. It uses an adenovirus vector, and there are two vectors it use, uses, the adenovirus 26 and the adenovirus 5. And to the adenovirus vector is the gene for the full-length spike protein. So the adenovirus just acts as a carrier to take the gene into the cell and the protein is produced. It is a hybrid vaccine because you use two different human adenoviruses for the first and second dose. And this has been done with a view to overcoming pre-existing adenovirus immunity because when you have a common cold, you can produce antibodies against the carrier or when you give the first injection, you may produce some antibodies against the spike protein, but also against the carrier. And to overcome that and to prevent a reduction in immune response, it is given as an intramuscular injection 21 days apart. It could be formulated as a frozen product or as a powder, a lyophilized product. And the advantage of the lyophilized product, it does not is that it does not need continuous cold storage and can be, it can be stored at two to eight degrees centigrade. This makes it easy to distribute worldwide, especially in remote and difficult to reach areas. However, we must remember that the phase three trials have been done on the frozen formulation that needs to be stored at minus 18 degrees centigrade. So there have been usual clinical trials that have been rolled out, including the phase one trial, in which the patients receive one IM injection of either the adenovirus 26 or the adenovirus 5 vaccine. And then you had the phase two clinical trial where the first injection was at 26 and the second was at five. And these are published in September in the Lancet Journal. And what they published was that it showed promising safety results and there was a favorable initial immune response with an increase in neutralizing antibodies, which is expected with the vaccine, and good T-cell responses, CD4 and CD8 responses. The reported adverse effects were pain at the injection site, headache, and muscle pain. So the author conclusions were that the combination of 26 and at five had a good safety profile and induced strong humoral, that is antibody and cell mediated immune response in the participants. The phase three clinical trial was targeting 40,000 participants in Russia, the UAE, India, Venezuela, and Belarus. On day one, it was at 26, and on day two, it was at five. They've looked to, for the development of COVID-19 and severity, the antibody and cellular responses, and the adverse effects. On the 2nd of February, it was reported in the Lancet, and there was a 91.6% efficacy against the development of COVID-19. And the values that were relevant is given in the next line. It was well tolerated. And the important thing to remember with this vaccine trial was more than 20,000 adults older than 18 years received the vaccine, 75 with some 
received the received either vaccine or placebo, and 75% received the vaccine. 60% were male, almost all were white, and comorbidities were present in a quarter. So what was mentioned about this vaccine was that it had good efficacy in older adults, and it was consistently strong protective response across all participant age groups. It, had, it reduced the severity of the disease after one dose. And there were three fatalities that were reported in this trial. Those receiving the vaccine all had extensive comorbidities. And these fatalities were investigated and was found to be not related to the vaccine. So this study was published in the Lancet and the interpretation is given in the slide. Now, what is the current status of vaccine rollout with regards to Sputnik V vaccine? On 11th August 2020, the Russian government approved it for limited use. This is prior to the commitment of phase three clinical trials. And the decision was questioned by many global experts and commentators around the world. So far, approval has been received in over 60 countries and more than 1.2 billion doses have been pre-ordered by many countries. Hungary, Slovakia have provided regulatory approval from the EU countries, and the EMA, the European Medical Medicine Agency, is currently evaluating this vaccine. It has also been licensed to companies in India to make it so that the vaccine could be rolled out in India too. I told you, in a previous slide and a talk that there is a combined, there's a mixing and max, uh, matching trial that is ongoing with AstraZeneca being given first and the Sputnik vaccine being given secondly. What about the Russian rollout? The aim is to get 60% of its population of 140 million vaccinated during 2021. However, so far, only 20 million Russians have received this vaccine. And this is a question that people are asking, why is it that persons in Russia are not getting the vaccine that was made in Russia? That's, we must remember that a survey done at the end of December 2020 in Russia found a lot of people did not plan to get the vaccine. And vaccine hesitancy is a big issue when it comes to Russia. Recently, it had received an emergency use authorization nod in India, and that is very important in trying to balance the shortage of vaccines in India. But however, in, when it comes to Brazil, there has been recent controversy because the Brazilian authorities have not approved the vaccine, saying that the amount of virus had not been neutralized to the expected level, but there's a lot of controversy about that decision, and there are some legal proceedings that are followed through. So this is an area to be watched, and there'll be updates coming in the next few days or weeks. So in summary, many vaccines have been approved in recent weeks and months. The Sputnik V vaccine is a viral vector vaccine. Two doses have to be given. It can be stored at two to eight degrees. And the efficacy that is reported as published in the Lancet was 92%. And it's about $10 as cost per dose. Thank you.